children, take them away. Oh. Okay, guys, hope you're well. Um, there's sort of all really going on in the markets today. So what I thought I would do is I'd just do a real-time scalp, just so you can see it, talk you through it. And I give you something to think about across the weekend. Now, when I do a scalp, I do it from plain charts. Um, I'll show you. I'll, I've cleaned everything off, and I only look at two markets. Okay, so let me flick this over. So we're looking at the DAX, and we're looking at cable. Now, the first thing you need to do is establish what's going on. Well, we can see there's a strong drive. And it's starting to push. So is this in play? Who knows? Let's have a look at the hourly. See what's going on. Right. Well, the hourly, we've got a plateau here. And we're having another plateau here. And it looks like that was the drop. But what was the major drop that we can kind of see? Well, let's go back in time. That was the first major one. All right, so I'm going to build this up with fibs. So I want to know what the pivot was for there. Well, the pivot for that is here. Okay. And then I want to see what the extension of it was. And why are these important? Well, first of all, you want to see if the pivot's been hit. If it hasn't, that means the pressure was to the downside. So there's the law of that coming up to here. So what were the crucial points from this move? Because that is probably still in play. So we've got one here. And we've got another one there. All right. And then the lower point breaking this up is there. All right. I picked that out because it's the strongest move that I can see in recent history on a one hour chart. To try to get to the 67, it's coming up to the 127 and then back up to here. All right. So, what else can we do? Now, this is Fibonacci framework. Well, there was the last drop. Now, I can see it's over the 50%. So, let's have a look, see what the extension of that has to say. And it's the extension of the last major move, which was that one. That's bringing us to the tops of here. And if I did take that to the very top of this, it's telling you it's there. But you can see that dropped, came down. So... This isn't too bad to go, to be honest, based on the hourly and a set of fibs. Okay. Let's have a look, see what a moving average has to say with this. Um, just a basic moving average of an 8. I like an 8. Well, it's holding above the 8. All right. So that's good. What else have we got? RSI. Speed this little bad boy up. 5. Right, so it's at the top end here, so you want to be very careful. Take two or five minutes to see if we've got anything to trade with. Well, it's a bit risky because it's pushing on the top here. But that from there to there is roughly 10 pips. Well, if I want five, it's a 15, got to say. Um, Right, okay. So with this one, I wouldn't necessarily be looking to enter just yet. I'd be looking for this to come under the 50 line. And then hook back up. And sure enough, there it comes. Okay. So we've got two points of attraction, which is that moving average and this 50. So I'll keep an eye on that. Let's have a look, see what we can do with the DAX similar situation with the DAX there is the last major drop there there is a big one here as well and we can see that it's moving up into this cluster it's 
drop it onto the hourly and let's see if we can pick some fibs out of this well that's sort of there that's sort of there but that's interesting this one so we're going to do the same again fib so the start of that move is probably there to here to put the pivot in there is your pivot there is the base so that's nicely mapped now it's been to the pivot and it's been tested it a few times before see what the extension has to say to see whether this is ready to pop it's from there back up to there sort of that and then we'll just put these in here and this is all just quick stuff um very basic chart reading guys okay so what can we see well it hasn't come to this 127 that's interesting and it hasn't gone there okay so let's work this out so if that's the case this pressures maybe to the upside so where's the price in relation to here well it's sitting on a pivot which is on the four hour See what the hourly has to say so i can tighten this all up well if i look at this uh, if i draw it backwards actually save me doing the extension as well right that 50 is lining up to the higher time frame 76 has been respected and it is holding here so the next logical point of attraction is there this baseline so that is my trading arena here sitting in it take it to 15 minute let's have a look see what's going on with this okay happy with that just want to check something guys there is a surge here a plateau and a surge like a little bit like a flag formation so i'm going to just map this out so if it's broke that started there at 161 right excellent okay so then there and we're touching the 127 now stall points this one's not looking bad drop it to a five minute to see what's going on with it uh, put my eight moving average on it just want to see what that looks like okay so it's surged away so this is the value area. Okay, let's have a look, see what RSI has to say. Five, five. Okay, so it's in the upper quadrant. It's ground coming up. It hasn't gone back to the top. So I've got a couple of points to think about here. I can have an entry here going up or I can trail it um, of the two that one's already pushing wants to come down quite a bit I would say this one is the better and I'd like an order probably here and the way I'm going to do this I'm going to put an order there I'm going to put an order there up into this and that should be okay he says so order there 
so. And then I want another one above it. I'm going to take it on the base of that green line or green candle. So. Right. This is boxing the price. What does that mean? Well, boxing the price is exactly what it says it is. I'm expecting a reaction here. And if it doesn't and it turns round, it'll pick the, uh, this order up here. Now, why here? Well, because we know price respects levels. So it's coming down into the price. There's the trigger. I'll get rid of that one. Don't need that one no more. Don't really need this anymore. Um, but overall, that up is the plan see it's stalled bang on that level so i'm quite happy with that and if i'm wanting oh i don't know see see i wanted to come back to that'll do 200 quid i'll just set set my order there and it's that simple guys or as finney would say simple stuff right i'll just let this play out um I'll just leave it running. If it runs for ages, I'll just um, times it by four or something. But I just want to show you it. How am I going to do the madness points in this? Well, that's very simple. Um, put an extension on it. From there to there. Why is that? The stops. Well, there's one structure point. And I've measured out that's a second one, so the stop's going to be under here. And that's it, guys. Um, job done. I can preempt the orders just by having them sitting waiting, which is there, like this. Put another one in. I want to do madness. I like to just drop a couple in. See what's going on. So 50%. Run that up to there as well. That's it. That's your job sort of put into place. Now it's stalling bang on the level that I've measured out. I'm quite happy with that. It's holding above the moving average. Um if it comes down, it's not a big issue. Um, but hopefully that will move it back. I clip that and then back up to there. So I'll let this run and then it's something for you to play with. And really I've done it just because it's now doing. And I want to give you something to think about.
Hey boys and girls, job's done. What has been done? Well, we just get rid of this so we can have a nice wide look at what's going on. My trading arena was down to here, never got anywhere close to it. And I wanted the price to go to there. So that's what I was working within. Now, my job, I'm not going by the way I've been out, is just to get money from the market. That's it. I couldn't give a toss if that only got to there, as long as it paid me what I need. Well, plunged down, got better pricing, came back to where I started. Didn't need to do much more because I was only after about 100 quid. There you go. 424, just working the moves. So you tell me, guys, is that not a lot easier? Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I don't care about the heat because I've already costed in how much it's going to cost me. Why? Because I know what the parameters are. I don't care about the upside target. Why? Because I'm in it to be paid, not be a hero. And there you go. So there you go, guys. Um, that's how to build. And just put that across. That's how to build and manage an account. Um, it's easy done off my phone. Why is it easy done off my phone? Because I've already done the analysis. I can't do an analysis on the phone because, well, that would just be a nightmare. But what I can do is open and close my positions because I know what the boundaries are. So I hope that kind of helps. And as always, keep asking and I'll keep delivering. Catch you soon.